So this is roughly where the conversation starts getting interesting. If you look at the date, Tuesday the 28th of March, I received this email from Zul saying that there's something that he needs to come clean with me about and he needs to make a plan of action. He goes on to say that he steered clear of a schoolboy error uh, that a lot of cowboy builders make and um, that is to underprice the job to secure it. Um, that's when they go as they cut corners, demand extras and usually disappear sporadically to make money elsewhere in an attempt to keep funding the job they have no money left for. Unfortunately, that is exactly what has happened with yours, but fear not. I'm, uh, I'm not disappearing. It's my error and I would deal with it. Now, this is interesting because I want to come back to this a little bit later. Bear in mind, uh, this is only the 28th of March, right? So the project's been going. Uh, we started on the 6th of Feb. The project uh, has been going for uh, almost two months now and um, it should be coming towards an end right so all the work should be done and we should be coming towards an end because at the time that they took the project on they said it would be roughly six to eight weeks from the time that they start so we start on the 6th of feb so by my my calculations that should have been tail end of march beginning of april um he goes on to mitigate or try and offer some mitigation that he's been out of contracting for two years uh, and ust underestimated the costs of many things, which, um, you know, I've learned is a load of nonsense. Um, he's not been out of contracting uh, for two years. He's been developing and still dealing with business and uh, property development. So he should have a good idea of exactly what the costs are. Uh, the reality is something else is try to lie in his pockets and um, pull a swift one, which has backfired. He then goes on to say that he should have, uh, quote, this product should have been £55,000. Uh, the, the the work that I wanted done should have been in the region of uh, seventy to seventy five thousand pounds, and the costs just keep on going up. He seems to be plucking numbers uh, out of thin air. At the time that we started, I said to him that I've got a budget of uh, forty six thousand pounds. He came round to view it. I had another co builder come round to view it. I was quoted forty seven thousand. Managed to agree forty six, and I said to all, "Well, oh, listen, I've got a budget of forty six thousand pounds. If you can do it for that much, fine. If not, I'll go with my other guy." He goes, now we should be able to work with that. And now he's saying that it should be roughly about £55,000 um, and uh, anywhere in the region of seventy to £75,000. So I don't know where he's getting these figures from. He's clearly um, not got a understanding of how these costs work uh, because he wouldn't have, um, like he says here, um, dropped the ball of about £20,000. So in the bottom line, it goes on to offer some other mitigation around the way that they work. Um, and the quality of the job that they do. So um, what's it called? If, if, I, if I just uh, draw your attention to this here, um, it goes on to talk about uh, a section of work that is done uh, to, uh, it, it, as an example of how they operate. Um, and uh, I'll show you a video of how they operate so you'll get a full idea of how this cowboy bandit works. Um, but then it goes on to say that it's roughly £20,000 uh, 20, short. There was about £18,500 left in the project. Um, so it should have, in theory, been only uh, £1,500, but we'll learn that wasn't the case. Um, and I will show you the next uh, the email that he sends. So just a reminder that this was on the 28th of March, 2023. Okay, so the next email that he sends is on, uh, you can see here, the 7th of April, right? Um, which is just over 10 days. Uh, from uh, the last email where he's saying that don't worry I'm not going anywhere I'm not going to ask you for any more money uh, it's his problem and he'll deal with it all right um, <laughs> the 7th of April he goes in short I'm asking asking you given the scale and the overall quality of the work carried out uh, would you be willing to allow some variation in the initial contract value so essentially he's asking for more money right he's talking about an industry norm of about 10 percent and uh, how there's uh, variations here uh, and extras here that you can see variations and extras and how he tried to shy away so essentially he's trying to tell me that he's doing me a favor and how the other contractor who he hasn't met has got no idea of how he operates and who actually had verified references of how good the quality of the work was and i really should have stuck with the first guy and not given this crook the job um but <sighs> you know, case sera, sera, as they say. Um, so the variations and the extras is trying to tell me that, uh, you know, there's a 10% industry norm and uh, is asking whether or not we can renegotiate the contract value, right? Um, so literally 10 days, just over 10 days after saying to me that, don't worry, I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm not going to ask you for any more money. Nothing like that. Uh, he's asking me for an extra 10% on the contract value. 
All right, and he goes, he doesn't mind if it's an agreed amount that we can pay at a later date and we can discuss this uh, as and when we're easy. Um, and again, I'll come back to this um, uh, overall quality of the work um, you know, a little later on in the video just to show you exactly what the quality of work actually looks like under this outfit. So I replied to him um, uh, on the following day. Was it the following day, the same day? Yeah, the following day I've, re uh, I've replied to him um, saying that I'm, I'm not in a position to do that. Uh, we agreed a price of £46,000. Uh, that's now gone up to £54,000 because even though he likes to talk smart and pretend that he is smart and uh, elu elucidate towards things um, you know, as variations or extras, thinking that people don't know what the difference between them are, ultimately uh, they add to the contract uh, value. So the contract value went up from £46,000, which is what we originally agreed, up to £54,000, right? And I was quite happy to do that because I'd ring fence some extra money precisely for these reasons, because these are old houses and I know that things are going to cost a little bit extra sometimes. So I'd kept a little bit of money aside and I thought, Alhamdulillah, I've got the money, inshallah, um, and I will pay for whatever the extras are or whatever the uh, additional work comes out in this house. So I've already kept this 10% that he's talking about, which on £46,000 would have been roughly about £4,600. But I've kept more than that, right? I've kept about 10 grand uh, to one side and um, I've ploughed that in and invested that in to the project as the work has developed and the work has gone on. So I've said to him, I'm sorry, I haven't got any more money. Um, the contract's gone up from £46,000 to £54,000. In fact, what I'm doing is buying things on 0%. Uh, interest and I'm, I'm going to pay them off inshallah uh, over the next 10, uh, 12 to 24 months. At this point uh, on the 8th of April we should have only had about 10 days left on the project right we should only have had about 10 days left on the project to get it over the line but I don't know how he's managed the funds bearing in mind um, that I've given him uh, at this stage uh, I've given him 80% um, of the money. So, you know, he's had, him directly um, has had um, £43,500 off me for a bill that was originally due to cost uh, £46,000. So by the 8th of April, um, even if you argue the £54,000, right, he's already had um, £43,500 off me, right? So that's about ten and a half, eleven thousand pounds that I'm left to pay. Uh, for the rest of the work that's going, that needs to get done uh, and um, it's just nowhere near completion at this stage, nowhere near completion. So then he responds the following day, 8, uh, 9th of April, saying that it's unfortunate uh, that given the nature of the, uh, the the scope of the works that I didn't keep a contingency, well I did, um, it wasn't as much as he wanted and my contingency doesn't account for his incompetence. Uh, if he can't manage his funds then it's not my responsibility to keep that money or a kept a separate pot or a separate um, kitty for Zul's incompetence and inability to manage finances. You know, I don't have that kind of pot. Um, so he then goes on to say that, listen, um, gives a whole lot of nonsense uh, around uh, friendship and all the rest of it. Uh, and then he goes on to say the, that the works will need to be paused until he's back in funds, right? So remember, he mentioned at the very first email, um, uh, that uh, cowboy builders go off and they try and find jobs from other uh, from uh, sorry try and find money from other jobs to plow back into this and keep this going. So he goes, um, he's not going to be able to cover the outstanding costs uh, and that the the work's going to have to pause. And he's confident that it will be uh, no more than about two weeks, inshallah ta'ala Aziz. Right. So this is on the 9th of April this year. So the conversation's gone from. At this stage, don't worry, I'm here, I'm not going anywhere, to, and, and I'm not going to ask you for any more money. To step two, uh, have you got more money? To step three, to, okay, you haven't got any more money, um, so uh, I can't come back yet. Um, but don't worry, I'll be back in a couple of weeks. So that's where we are, that's what, that, that's what the conversation is at this point. <laughs> right, and then we come on to the 24th of April. All right, and this is a, this is the one where I, where I lost my uh, I lost all sense of decorum with him. I'll be honest with you. So the twenty fourth of April, which is literally two weeks after the email that he sent me on the 9th of April, saying that don't worry, work or should resume inshallah in about two weeks' time. He goes on to say that I must set aside my personal wishes and do what's right by Centene and the people that rely on me to run the business as MD. He doesn't run the business. He ain't got a bloody clue. Um, if you've not budgeted a contingency, I have, uh, and I've run out of funds, I haven't. 
uh, Centene shouldn't fund it. They didn't. Uh, they've used the money that I've given them. Uh, but what he's tried to do uh, is be a little bit clever and um, use the money that I gave him, most likely in other projects, try to probably swip, uh, 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 what do they call it, flip um, a, a, a project quickly, not being able to do it and ended up, um, you know, uh, falling, uh, falling flat on his face when it comes to, to my project. Um, incidentally, I gave the brother uh, twenty thousand pounds, you know, um, as the as the starting payment, and then after two weeks, he asked for another twenty thousand pounds. So in the first probably two and a half weeks, he's got forty thousand pounds off me. Forty thousand pounds he's got off me, and I've got to ask the question: What the hell have you done with that money? Where the hell has it gone? You can give me any list that you want, any uh, price list and costing list that you want. It doesn't. It's not worth the paper that it's written on because I've not seen all of that come into my belt and come into my um, uh, come into my project. So then he goes on to say that is is what's it called? Um, uh, they've had to fund it and they shouldn't have to fund it. No, what you should do is stick to and honor the agreement that you've made within the financial agreement that we've made. You should stick to and honor the word that you took to say that I'm not going to go anywhere and he'll deal with it. But he doesn't. And this is his way of dealing with it. And uh, this is what I found later on is just symbolic of the way that this guy worked. The, the works, the man's a, the man's a crook. Nothing more to it than that. Um, then he goes on to talk about other things as well, which is uh, entirely nonsensical because these are the things that we agreed and that's what affected the cost uh, of the project from £46,000 to £54,000. Um, so then he, then he goes on to say that I've supported, you, I've supported and paid for the works to your property as far as I'm able to, but can I continue? <laughs> Can I continue? Uh, like, you know, he's dipped into his own pocket, you know, and um, let's just ignore that £43,500 that I've given you. Um, that doesn't mean anything. And um, it's what's it called? Um, it's it's irrelevant to the conversation because somehow you've paid for the material and you somehow you've paid for the project uh, or the development on my project out of your own pocket. Utter, utter nonsense, utter nonsense. Uh, and then he goes on to say that I'm grateful for the opportunity he gave me. I do honestly believe we have gone up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I do honestly believe we've gone above and beyond in delivering a quality outcome for you and your family to enjoy. Oh, my God. You know, when I read that, uh, I just saw red. Um, and uh, I, I, what's it called? Um, I, I, I called him. Um, and uh, it wasn't a particularly, um, you know, uh, eloquent conversation. It wasn't my best moment uh, with him. And I short, in short, I said to him, how the hell are you going to rip off the people that tried to help you out? How the hell are you going to rip off those people? Um, and this was it, 24th of April, right? And I've not seen the guy. Actually, you know what? At the, at the, at the, um, as of the 24th of April, right? It had been uh, about six weeks since I had seen him. It's been six win weeks since he'd been to my project. So 24th of uh, April was a Monday. So one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, roughly about mid-March. From the 13th of March, he stopped coming to my house, um, bearing in mind that we were friends, bearing in mind that we've been on holiday together and all that kind of stuff, right? He stopped coming to my house from the 13th of March. And there's a reason why he stopped coming, aside from the fact that he's a thief and a crook. Uh, but there's a reason why he stopped coming. Um, um, and we'll go into that, inshallah, a little bit.